We are going to talk about the properties of logarithms now. And the properties of logarithms are just like our properties of exponentials, and they're related to each other. So if you can remember back to all those rules of exponentials about of exponents, such as if you multiply two numbers of the same base together, that's adding the powers. All of that's going to play a role here. We're going to start with our basic properties first. So the basic properties are the following. If I take log base a, so a could be anything, of 1, then the only power that I can raise a to to get 1 is 0, no matter what a is. Because remember, a is greater than 0 and not equal to 1. So these are true for all of the properties that we're talking about. And so, no matter what it is, if it's log base a of 1, it's a 0. The other basic property is log base a of a. So what do I raise a to to get itself? That's the first power. So if, if the bases match, if the, what we're taking the log of matches the base, then we have our, then we have a 1 as an output. We also have what we call the inverse properties. So remember, the inverse is undoing what's done. And there's two of these properties for logarithms. And the first one's really straightforward. If I have log base a of a to the r, I just get r. And we used this property when we did the loudness example earlier. And so if the a's match, then I just get whatever the power is. And notice this is a more general form of our basic property earlier. The other one takes a little bit more thought, but it starts, if I have a and I raise it to the log base a of m, then I'm going to get m. This one takes a little bit more thought, but what's going on is, if I figure out what power to raise a to to get m, and that's what this is, remember, it returns the power of a that gives m, and then a raise a to that power, I just get m. But what's important to recognize is that the a's match. If the a's and the logarithm and the base match, then we just get the number by itself on the outside. That's why it's the inverse property. So just to show some examples now, suppose we have log base 5 of 1. Well, since we ha are taking the log of 1, it doesn't matter what the base is, the answer is 0. If I wanted the natural log of 1, same thing. Because the, what I'm taking the log of is a 1, my answer is 0. It doesn't matter if it's a 5 or an e. Likewise, if I have log base 4 of 4, since my base matches the base of the logarithm, since my number matches the base of the logarithm, I get 1. And the last one that I want to look at, suppose we have 3 raised to the log base 3 of 81. Well, again, since my base of my exponent matches the base of the logarithm, I take the number, and my answer is 81. And so these are the basic properties of logarithms.